The forces of the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front destroyed an airport under the control of the Ethiopian army. Reuters quoted the Ethiopian media as stating that the rebel forces of the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front destroyed an airport in the city of Aksum, after federal forces gave them 72 hours to surrender. The front's leader, Debrej and Gebra Michael, told Reuters that the deadline was a cover in order to allow the government forces to regroup after the defeats suffered on three fronts. There was no immediate response from the two sides to the comments of the other side. On Sunday, the Ethiopian forces announced that they are 97 kilometers from the capital of Tigray. It said it had taken control of the town of Ida Gahamos, 97 kilometers from Mekele, capital of the rebel-held Tigray region. On Sunday, the Ethiopian army announced its intention to use tanks to surround the city of Mekele, warning civilians that it might also use artillery shells on the city. The next stages are the decisive part of the operation, which is to surround Mekele with tanks, and the battle in mountainous areas and advance to the fields, the military spokesman Colonel Dijins Gay said. About two weeks ago, Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiyama declared war on the DPLF after he said that it had attacked an army camp and tried to steal its equipment.